Two married couples comes on the scene as the movie starts. The name of girl in a couple is Vicky. While the name of male in another couple is Douglas, they were escaping from the woods in order to save their lives from a creature. But that creature captures Douglas's wife. And it takes along with it while dragging. But Douglas remains unable to do anything to rescue his wife. After this, the scene shifts to five college students. One of the girl's name among them was Alyssa, while the rest of the students were her friends. She had also a brother. Alyssa female's friend name was Mandy. In fact, they have visited the woods for hiking. After this, they observe a stuck notice in the woods. There was stated, people are prohibited at this place. But they don't take this warning so serious. Because they were thinking as it is the trick of the government to root out these woods while prohibiting the people, afterwards, they take photo of entrance and they move ahead. Alyssa tells her friend on the way that I used to visit this forest with my family every year. Now I have visited here after seven years because we have shifted somewhere else. Meantime, a dead body of an animal is seen here, which has been mutilated by another animal. Passing a little distance, Alyssa forbids her brother to move further. She says, we should not move ahead because there is also need to return. We may face many troubles here if the night falls. Then Alyssa's brother explains to her, we have already gone farther with father in the woods. So you need not to worry. Nothing will happen to us. Now, Alyssa, has to agree with her brother reluctantly. Crossing a distance, a controversy is started between brother and sister. Being irritated by their controversy, when Alyssa's friend moves at a distance, then he finds someone's lying bag there. After this, night falls and they were still in the forest and all the people were being angered with Alyssa's brother, because, it was he who had brought all farther in the woods. After this, they discover the parts of the same girl's dead body, which had been dragged away at the start of the movie by that creature. It means, Douglas's wife. When they are observing those parts of dead body, at the same time, they hear the sound of a creature. As a result, they all are panicked. This is the cause, they immediately begin to run towards their vehicle. That mysterious creature appears in front of them before they reach their vehicle. Who glimpses them? Now it begins to pursue them. Fortunately, they hide themselves at a place, hiding at a place. Where they notice a cabin, seeing it, Alyssa's brother asks them to move into it. And he himself says to divert the attention of that creature, moving opposite side. As Alyssa's brother starts to move away from there to divert that creature's attention from there, at the same time, that creature itself appears before him. And it kills Alyssa's brother while attacking him. Now they all four friends begin to move inside the cabin. But that creature catches the foot of Mandy, as it begins to go inside. But they all rescue her. They find the three of the survivors as they enter the cabin. Including, Douglas, Vicky, and her husband. Who had also been seen at the start of the movie. They all three had mutually blocked the cabin, so they may be protected from that creature. After this, Vicky begins to tell about herself to Alyssa. We were actually going for a business trip. After this our vehicles became out of order and we untangle in this forest. And that creature hunted out friend. Meanwhile, Alyssa's friend tells, I have called the parents of everyone. I have also informed to police, specifying our location. So someone will soon be arrived there for their help. Then, Douglas, reveals that no one will be able to come here for our help. And that creature will victimize us if we exert to leave this cabin. After this, they also seal the doors and windows in more proper way. So that creature may not enter the cabin. Alyssa, is very worried here. Because she was thinking as that creature wishes that they may imprison at one place together. Alyssa's friend explains to her, it is only a creature and we have only to escape from it. There is no need to know for us as what is that creature and why is it. And we have also no concern as what this creature actually wants. They are still discussing it then that creature appears there. And it tries to intrude that cabin. At that time, they also block that window from where that creature was trying to intrude. After this, that creature begins to walk around that cabin. Meanwhile, it intrudes through a window. Those people try to stop it as it enters. But Vicky's husband is wounded in struggle of stopping it. So, Alyssa and Mandy also approach there for their help. Then they begin to lift a dresser so they may stop that creature with its help. Because that dresser is heavier so they both are unable to lift it. At that same time, Alyssa's friend sprays the pepper spray on that creature, bringing it. 
Meantime, Douglas also approaches there for their help, hearing their shouting. Due to this, they are capable to lock that window on the exact time, using the dresser. Vicky's husband gratifies Douglas for helping them. Douglas tells that we have no more dressers to block the door and windows. Nor we have time, so we will have to leave this place as soon as possible. They all are seated together at night. Alyssa's friend says here that, Elisa's help is nearly to approach. Douglas, says on it while laughing. We will not be able stay at this place for a long time. And no one will approach here for our help. Because everyone knows, what is here. There is a that creature. It means that there is danger. So we will have to bring help while leaving this place. Hearing it Vicky's husband forbids it saying, no. No one will go out from here. Alyssa's close friend says on it, I will go outside. And I will soon return, getting help. Then, Alyssa, explains to her friend, taking him into another cabin. And she instructs, you will not go outside. Alyssa's friend responds on it, no one will be able to go outside if I don't go for taking help. So, Alyssa, has to agree with him unwillingly. So they plan that Vicky's husband will divert the attention of that creature, at the same time, Alyssa's friend run towards the highway, going outside. After a while, they also do the same. Vicky's husband moves outside, and it diverts the attention of that creature while whistling. Now Alyssa's another friend was standing out of the cabin. He observes that creature through binoculars and he informs Vicky's husband through walkie-talkie, as that creature has approached nearer you. Getting a chance, Alyssa's close friend runs far from the cabin. After this, Alyssa, husband tells Vicky's husband, I am not seeing that creature anywhere now. It means that creature has run away from there. Suddenly, they begin to hear the shouting of Alyssa's close friend through the walkie-talkie. They come to know here is that creature is pursuing Alyssa's close friend. So Alyssa's friend and Vicky's husband try their best to enter the cabin. But Douglas closes that door firmly. And he does not let them enter. Noticing it, Vicky tries to unlock that door. But Douglas does not allow her to unlock it. So, Alyssa, informs them through walkie-talkie that kitchen's door is open. You may come inside from that door. So Alyssa's friend and Vicky's husband enter through that kitchen's door. First of all, Vicky's husband hits Douglas after entering. Consequently, Douglas knocks out. Douglas finds himself tied when he restores his conscience. Because they had no trust in Douglas now. And it was the cause that they tied him. After this, Alyssa is seen who was looking nervous. Because she had lost her friend and brother. So she determines that she will leave out after killing that creature. Alyssa's friend is very scared there. Because he had escaped from the jaws of death. And he thinks as he can be victimized at any time. So he apologizes, Mandy, before dying. That I was flirting you. Knowing it, Mandy comes into rage on him. At the same time, the, the walkie-talkie starts ringing there. Seeing it, they all think, it is the signal sent by Alyssa's friend. But they again hear the ringing of walkie-talkie. Following it they come to now that it is sounding from the cellar. So, Alyssa, decides to move to the cellar without any deliberation. And I'll chase her. But Vicky's husband leaves his wife out of cellar before moving there. With this tension is that creature may not hunt my wife. They discover Alyssa's close friend in the cellar. He was wounded. Witnessing him, they try to take him out from there. At the same time, that creature comes there. Now Vicky's husband struggles to stop that creature. Afterwards, they bring Alyssa's friend out of cellar. Now Vicky's husband had gone to stop that creature. So he does not determine in front of it. It indicates, that creature also hunts him. At the same time, it is seen that Alyssa's close friend condition is worst. Seeing his such condition, Douglas, says to them. He may die at any time. But we may be rescued because of him. In fact, Douglas's had a plan to distract that creature while using Alyssa's friend. So they may go out of this place. But, Alyssa, is not convinced by this suggestion. But she makes another plan. That we will entrap that creature, bringing it here. And we will set it on fire through a fuel discovered from the cellar. Then, Douglas, also agrees with, Alyssa, knowing her plan. And he says that I will also help you to catch that creature. So, Alyssa, says to her friend, untie, Douglas. But Douglas kills Alyssa's wounded friend after being released. They all lose their temper on his action. Removing those blocks, that creature enters the cabin before they say to, Douglas, and it hunts Douglas, savagely. 
That creature was engaged in tearing his body of Douglas, after hunting, getting opportunity, they ring the fuel while moving to the cellar. Then they set that place on fire with the help of that fuel. As a result, that creature is burned to fire, and it meets its end. After this, they move ahead through the passing way of cellar. But Vicky, witnesses her husband's dead body on the way. Witnessing it, she stops there. Meanwhile, Alyssa's another friend is dragged by that creature. It is exposed here that there were not only one but the two creatures. One of them had burned to fire by them. But the second one is still alive. Later, Mandy, begins to run away, accompanying, Vicky. Unfortunately, that creature also kills Vicky. Now there were, Mandy, and, Alyssa, were only survivors. So they both begin to escape together from there. But that creature soon kills, Alyssa, thereafter capturing. Mandy, begins to run away, escaping in some way. Moving ahead, she smears the mud on her body. So that creature may not come after her after sniffing. At last, Mandy, reaches the vehicle. That creature also attacks her, coming there as she is going to start the vehicle. Somehow, Mandy, crushes it under her vehicle while escaping. After this, she comes out of that forest safe and sound. At the same time, one more creature is witnessed near the dead body of that creature. It refers that there were no only two creatures in that forest but many creatures as such. And the movie also completes on this scene here. Thanks for watching.